Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share a simple recipe for 9 layer kueh, also known as kueh lapis. This kueh is very popular in Malaysia. It has 9 layers, that's how it got its name. The texture is soft and slightly chewy. First add 120 grams of rice flour, 180 grams tapioca starch, 400 ml of coconut milk and 300 ml of water into a large bowl. There are many methods to make kueh lapis, but different methods will result in different textures. So for this recipe, the method is very simple and the kueh texture is soft and slightly chewy. It really reminds me of the kueh lapis I had when I was a kid. Use a whisk to mix well until there are no lumps, then set aside. In a pot, add 200 ml of water and 5 to 6 pandan leaves. There will be some tricky steps but no worries, I will share some tips with you later in this video. Cook on low heat for 5 minutes, then discard the pandan leaves. Measure 150 ml of pandan water, place it back into the pot, add 160 grams sugar and 1 third teaspoon salt. The kueh for this recipe is not too sweet, so if you like it sweet, add 20 to 30 grams sugar. Cook on lowest heat until the sugar and salt is fully dissolved. Pour the hot sugar syrup into the mix batter. Mix well and sieve the mixture. Then pour into two separate bowls, one at least 400 ml and another 550 ml. I'm using this rose pink food colouring. You can use any colour you like, but I'm going to follow the traditional colours. Add it to the portion of 550 ml of liquid. Don't pour too much, a few drops will do. Now let's prepare the mould. This is a 7 inch mould. Don't use bigger than 7 inch as the layers will be too thin. Oil the mould. Then place cling film on top. Make sure to push to the edges, then oil the cling film again. In case you're wondering, you can find cling film that is safe for steaming. Once the water is boiling, heat up the mould for 5 minutes. Make sure the mould is above the water level. Now let's start with the pink layer. Measure 125 ml of pink batter. Always mix the batter before pouring. I find that measurement cups vary, so to be exact, it's 170 grams. Mix the batter and pour into the mould. On low heat, steam for 5 minutes. Okay, the first layer is done. It does look uneven now, but don't worry, it will flatten out in just a minute or so. To check whether it's cooked, touch with a spoon. The batter should not stick to the spoon. Another way to check is the colour. When it's cooked, it will turn darker pink. Now let's move on to the next layer. We're going to alternate colours, so for this layer, we will use white colour. Mix the batter, then measure 100 ml. To be exact, it's 140 grams. Sometimes, there will be some water condensation on the surface, so leave it open for 30 seconds before pouring in. Remember to always mix the batter before pouring. Increase the heat to low-medium and steam for 5 minutes. Here I want to show you an example of when it's not cooked. You can see a lump of batter being stuck to the spoon. Another trick is to check the colour. When it's not cooked, the white colour is very opaque. When it's cooked, it will turn slightly translucent. Continue with the pink layer. This time measure 100 ml, which is 140 grams. Remember to always leave it open for 30 seconds and to stir the batter before pouring into the mold. So midway, chances are the wok will run out of water, so add more water. I would recommend adding water just before pouring in the next layer. Wait for the water to steam up again before adding the next layer so that it doesn't affect the cooking time. Again, leave it open for 30 seconds and mix the batter before pouring in. Repeat adding 100 ml or 140 grams of batter until you get 9 layers. In total, there will be 4 white layers and 5 pink layers. Okay, I couldn't keep track of the layers myself when I was doing this, so I'm going to show you each layer. So bear with me, this video will be longer.
For the last pink layer, I'm going to add more red color to get a darker color. Oops, too much. You don't have to add this, I'm adding it so that it looks like the traditional grey. So for the last layer, steam for 10 minutes. Wow, it smells so good. The red looks so vibrant. I thought I added too much, but it turned out really nice. Let it cool down completely. If you cut it now, it will be too sticky. I'm going to loosen the sides because it got stuck. Best to use a plastic scraper. If you don't have one, you can just wrap your knife with cling film. I want to show you how soft and springy this is. Okay, doing this is quite fun. I can't wait to eat this. This grey is quite sticky, so I would recommend placing a layer of cling film at the base and also wear plastic gloves. I'm cutting into diamond shapes. You can cut into rectangles as well. For this 9 layer cray, I always peel each layer to eat since I was a kid. I still do that now. Each layer peels off nicely. You can see the texture is so soft and chewy as well. Hope you enjoyed watching this. See you next time.